Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric Princess telephone, and this is Linda's telephone from California, and this is the initial checkout of this telephone. And she's got a note here. She says, I'm interested in restoring the light. And presently, when she a uh, call comes in, I'm unable to hear the party upon answering the call. And so, basically, what we're going to do is do some checks. But I kind of checked this telephone out a little bit uh, before the video, and I know that this telephone doesn't ring. And she never makes mention of the telephone not ringing. So, we're going to have to go in and troubleshoot that. And yes, the dial tone, or if you were talking to somebody, the receive is very low. So I'm going to go ahead and ring the telephone. Every time you see that red light go by, that's a ring cycle. I'm going to let that go a couple more times. I'm going to let it go one more time. I'm going to go ahead and answer the telephone, try to give you some dial tone if the video is picking it up. It's very low. We want to dial a 2, make dial tone go away, and I want to transmit into the handset. So every time that red light on the analyzer lights, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. So it looks like the telephone is transmitting, but the receive is very low. And so we're going to have to go in and troubleshoot that and find out what's going on. We also need to find out why this telephone's not ringing. And then later on, we'll kind of be more concerned about whether we get the light working or not and feed it with a transformer because in this particular Princess telephone, you have to have a transformer with it or the light is not going to work. So we're going to try the ring cycle one more time. I want to make sure that our bell is turned all the way up. And it is. I want to go ahead and try to ring it again. And it's definitely not ringing. Go ahead and answer it. Try to give you some dial tone, although it's low. And we have the uh, cover off this telephone. And I want to show you the inside. And this telephone actually has a bridge rectifier in it. So at some point, this telephone was put out or recalled back into uh, Western Electric or the telephone company and a bridge rectifier was installed or it came with it originally. Some of these telephones were uh, pulled back into the factory and reserviced. So we know it has a bell. I'm going to go ahead and hang up and then I'm going to reach over and do a ring cycle. And every time you see this red light, a ring cycle will go by. No ring. Give you some dial tone. It's picking it up. So we're going to have to troubleshoot this telephone and find out what's going on with it and figure out what uh, kind of a problem that she's having and then go into the receive. And uh, I also want to take a look at the transmit, even though the transmit uh, is working. So we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And so what we have done here is I've taken the bell out because it needed to be repaired. And we're going to go ahead and do some tests on it. But this bell looks like it has been worked on before. Uh, they had everything in this area of the bell all kind of out of whack and it was uh, out of alignment. And also the tension spring here was totally uh, not connected. It, it wasn't in place. And so we had to take all the uh, clapper assembly out 
and readjust everything and then adjust all the uh, workings of the bell back into where they should have been. And it just looks like somebody uh, probably tried to make this bell louder or they were having problems with it and started adjusting on it. It looks to be more out of whack than if um, it had been dropped several times. And I would think that the uh, telephone would be uh, kind of beat up or cracked up if it had been dropped that many times or uh, dropped that badly to uh, cause everything to be out of uh, adjustment and so far bent out. So I do believe somebody tried to work on the bell and got it all out of uh, adjustment. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and ring the telephone. I'm going to give you a couple of different angles of that. I'm going to let it ring one more time. Now I'm going to hit the adjustment to uh, soften the ring, which was actually not really working before. Now I'm going to turn it back up here after this ring. I'm going to let that go one more time. I'm going to stop the ring cycle, but I'm going to hit a low ring cycle. So this would be a little lower than a regular ring voltage would be. I'll let that go a couple times. Okay, I'm going to shut the ring cycle down. Now the reason why we want to ring it on a low setting is because you never know exactly what the ring cycle voltage is going to be at a customer's home or uh, at the location that this telephone is going to be connected to. So even if we uh, use the analyzer to ring on a low setting, then we know if it's going to ring with the analyzer that it will ring at the location. And so it's good to test that lower voltage and make sure that the bell is still ringing. And what we will do here is reinstall the bell, but uh, we're going to go ahead and ring it, and then we're going to answer the phone because we've already been through the network and got the receive straightened out. So I'm going to go ahead and ring it. I'll let that go one more time. Go ahead and answer the telephone. Give you some dial tone. And you can already hear that the volume of the receive is much stronger than it was, so it's louder. And so now what we can do is uh, go ahead and unplug the telephone, and we're going to take a break from the video, and we're going to put the telephone back together again because now what we want to do is start our circuit for uh, the transformer for the light and we're going to be working on that but we can put the telephone basically back together again uh, we don't need to have it all apart for that uh, part of the repair so we'll be right back okay we're back now and we are finished up with this telephone and we're going to kind of run through a little bit of what went on uh, this telephone had a receive problem but that was repaired and we found that the bell did not ring and so uh, we had to repair the bell and I had thought that earlier that this maybe this princess phone uh, had been refurbished at the uh, company and uh, sure enough Linda I spoke with her and she said that this telephone was sent in and they had it refurbished uh, this telephone has some age on it it's not the first princess series they put out but uh, at this period, they did not have 
uh, bridge rectifiers in them. So it was a later install uh, when the telephone was refurbished. And I'm not sure if they had done something to the bell because the bell was totally out of whack. And Linda said that she had gotten this telephone back and just put it away. So she didn't have a clue that the bell didn't ring. And so the bell had looked like it had some kind of adjustment done to it, more than something uh, other than like dropping it. And so I'm not sure when they refurbished it what they did to it, but they actually uh, messed the bell up. So that was all repaired. And now we're going to do our final checks. So I'm going to go ahead and ring the phone. I'm going to let that go a couple of times since that was the issue. I'm going to let it go one more time. Give you some dial tone. And now I want to dial our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers go by. I'm going to end in a 2. And now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch this red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is ringing. It has receive, transmit, and it's dialing out. We can move this telephone over to a regular line, and we can call a time and temp. Give you some dial tone. Good evening. When you need body work, we're a short drive away. Offenberg Body Center 2340330. Today is Thursday, February 7th. The time is 8.07. Current temperature at 53 degrees. Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Cloudy overnight, lows around 30, sunny on Friday, a high in the mid-40s. Okay. We can call one other number. We can call my number, and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can get this telephone back to Linda and she can start enjoying it. Now at one time we had talked over a transformer to light the light for the keypad for this telephone and we talked it over and the issue is she didn't want to worry about the transformer heating up because this is a light bulb that's in the telephone that lights and so with the transformers that you have to run to these telephones in order to light the light they do run kind of hot, and she didn't want to have to worry about the transformer heating up. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.